Welcome back to the channel, today I would like to show you how to get back your data from the WooCommerce API. Now the WooCommerce API sort of mimics what we have in the WordPress REST API, and it evolves and does more things and it has things like authentication that you need to go through before you can access the data that you have. So by default you should be able to go to, let's say this is your domain, and you add on WP JSON, and when you hit enter, you should be able to see your different endpoints here, but right now we are not able to see these. So what I'm going to do is first go into my admin area, and then once I'm in, I'll go to the settings, and then I'll go to the permalinks. Now by default your WordPress either comes in plain or day and time, what you need to do is change your permalink structure to the post name, and once you hit save here, now let's go to our wp-json, you'll be able to see all the routes, namespaces and endpoints that you do have on your WordPress site. So this is what I have and I'm going to run with this to see what I have in terms of my WooCommerce. So I have WooCommerce installed on this domain of mine and I've gone to see the JSON API, and I just want to go to the latest version which is a WooCommerce version 3, so let me go to the routes and then I'll go to the version 3, I'll skip all the versions 1, 2, because what's happening is that WooCommerce has a plan to actually remove all these other legacy REST endpoints, because they've gotten to a place where they feel comfortable with version 3. So I'm going to go to, just to check out the products, so I'll go to version 3 products, I'll go to the links, self, and I'll go to the first one which is this, when I click on it, we'll see that we get this message which is called REST cannot view, or sorry you cannot see the resources that are available, and the status is the 401 which is a standard of the web, telling us that we are unauthorized to see this data. Now I'll go back to my site right here, and I'm going to go into the admin area, and I'll add a new user who I will give the rights of an admin that they can be able to see those different details. So let me go in here, I'll add a new user and I'll call the new user YouTube, and now we have this new YouTube user right inside as our administrator. So what I'm going to do is use Postman as we would have used any other website. Let's say we are building an off-site application, but we want it to be able to run with the WooCommerce website that we do have. So I'm, all I'm going to do is create a new ping, so we're going to use the get, and we're going to go for mediauganda.com slash wp-json slash wc slash version 3 slash product, and if we were to hit the send button or to get that, we're going to get back the same message we're getting from our URL. We get the same error and with the 401 we're unauthorized, so the first thing that I need to do is go back inside my WooCommerce in the settings, and I'll go to the advanced section, and what I'm going to do is go to the REST API, and I'm going to add a REST API key, so I'm either going to click the create button, or just do that, so I'll call this maybe mobile app, let's say you're building a mobile app, and what I'm going to do is assign a particular user, so let's look for our YouTube, ah, YouTube is our user, and we're going to give them the option to either read or write or read and write, so depending on what you want to do, if you want to be able to also post back information, then read and write would be the best option for you. So I'm going to generate our API key right now, and we have our consumer key and our secret key. So these are the two pieces of information we need to authenticate our call. So I'll go back into my postman, but before let me copy this consumer key, go back into postman, we'll come to our parameters and we're going to add our keys, so we'll have a consumer key, and as I type these elements, you'll see that our URL is starting to change, it also add our consumer secret, we just need to add our secret and our key, so I'll add our key, and I'll add our secret, 
our URL has changed, so let me just click on send here. We see that we are not getting anything back, even if we've added our consumer key and our secret, and the simple reason is that I did not put the transfer protocol in here for us, so I'll change this to HTTPS, and now I'm going to hit send. So you have the results showing up themselves in here, and you have all the different information, the name, the slugs, the IDs, you have the description, you even have the picture from the images, so you have the featured image showing up right here. So if you want to extend this functionality, you can use some of the available resources that you have from the REST API inside the docs. So all you need to do is you can go and check out the libraries, like Python, Node, Ruby, PHP, and you can find out how to use the different pieces together inside your app. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment, share with your friends, give it a like if it's the kind of content that you like, and then we'll pick up from there in the next video. Otherwise, peace!